97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, I am Pearl Lacanio Furi, and this is City News Daily on City TV. I will be bringing you the top stories in the news for today. In our very first story, information available to City News Daily suggests that the Accra Regional Police Command has arrested a man suspected to have killed the Member of Parliament for Ibuaka North, J.B. Dankwa Edu. And if viewers would recall, J.B. Dankwa Edu was killed in cold blood at his Shashi residence in East Legon last Tuesday. Now to tell us more on that story, I've been joined by City News Daily's Franklin Bedi Jr. So Franklin, when and how did this happen? So the Accra Regional Police Command led by its commander, COP, Dr. George Ekofodampari, led a team of security personnel to track this particular alleged killer. So information we have gathered from sources within the police suggests that they've been carrying this covert operation since yesterday and they were successful early today. So the alleged killer is currently in the grasp of the police. He's undergoing some form of interrogation to ascertain if he had accomplices or not. Do you know who this man is, the alleged killer? Details about the alleged killer is catchy at the moment, uh, as catchy at the moment, but in the coming days, we expect the police to give us more details about this particular um, suspect. Thank you very much, Franklin B. Genius, for bringing us updates on this story and that was city news daily's franklin betty jr with those updates now the ministry of gender children and social protection says ghana is ready to end child marriage the sector minister nana Yulifa says that this will be done by coordinating efforts of various stakeholders and implementing strategic framework by government. This comes on the back of a 2014 report by UNICEF that said about 41,000 girls below the ages of 18 get married off daily around the world. Today the National Communications Authority NCA held a press conference. Now at that press conference it denied claims that it fraudulently awarded the license for the establishment of an interconnect clearing house to Appiwave Telecom Ghana Limited. The authority had established an independent application evaluation process for the selection of a clearing house for the telecommunication sector. Afriwe was subsequently selected ahead of four other companies that bid for that particular contract. But policy think tank Imani Ghana raised red flag over Afriwe's selection, describing it as fraudulent. Now, at that press conference today, the Director General of the National Communications Authority, William Tevi, denied the claims. He described the process as fair and transparent. Story. There is still tension in Tafo in the Kumasi metropolis in the Ashanti region following yesterday's disturbances there. Now clashes between the Muslim community and some traditional authorities over a piece of cemetery land led to the death of one person while others sustained severe injuries. Now, academic work in some schools there have been disrupted because school authorities have closed down the institutions. They fear there will be another attack. To our final story, the Ministry of Agriculture is expecting crop production to drop this year following the dry weather condition being experienced in the country. Now, the country has been experiencing a dry spell in the past few years, which is expected to worsen this year as a result of El Nino event. A Deputy Minister of Agriculture in charge of crops, Dr. Lahassan Ahmed, told City News Daily his outfit was yet to complete assessing the country's current food production and would advise government on appropriate steps to take. And on that note, we end City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Akanyo Furi, and thanks for watching. <laughs>